Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh. Very soon, the children of the Michiana region will be able to enjoy programs like Sesame Street and Daniel Tiger all day, every day. It's all thanks to the upcoming launch of the 24-7 PBS Kids Channel at WNIT. But it wasn't a simple process to make this a reality. We knew from day one when PBS announced that uh, it was uh, going to launch the 24-7 Kids Channel that we wanted to be part of it. And when we started looking at our ability to do it, we ran into a technological dead end. Uh, we found that our equipment, which was first generation digital equipment, was not capable of adding a third channel. To keep up with the commitment to education, WNIT worked to raise the funds to put in the new equipment. We, uh, we started out by uh, contacting some, some people we know uh, in the community that are uh, huge advocates of early childhood learning uh, to see if possibly we might be able to find a single donor. Uh, when that was not successful, uh, we then started uh, looking for multiple donors. Having access to PBS children's programs all day means kids won't have to look for age-appropriate shows later in the day. We'd have children's programming all throughout the morning and the afternoon, and at 5.30, we were sending them over to other channels, you know, like Disney and, and, and Nickelodeon and, and some of those other channels, which were entertainment-friendly, but weren't necessarily educational-friendly. And PBS uh, Kids 24-7 channel on WNIT gives them not only the, the entertainment, but really gives them the curriculum to be preschool or to be kindergarten ready. And what will having 24-hour children's programming mean for the region? I think the impact to the region is the overall uh, emphasis and calling more and more attention to the importance of early childhood learning. We offer this channel as a source of learning, but really our goal would be to see every child in an early learning program. There is a large amount of children um, in low-income homes and just children in general in our Michiana area and our total WNIT viewing area that don't have access to high-quality uh, preschool education. And having the PBS Kids 24-7 channel on WNIT actually gives these kids a, a chance to, to really learn at, at the same rate that those that are in, in preschool um, are, are, are having currently. And so we're interested in building language skills and so forth. Television can be a powerful tool in that and people always think of television actually in many ways as, as being running counter to education but in fact used to its best purposes. Um, we believe that television provides an opportunity to enrich the learning experience, particularly for the very youngest. We have 75 to 80 percent of kids who either don't go to preschool at all or are going to a, a, a program that's not ranked as a, as a full quality program. So we see uh, this channel as filling in some of the gaps, uh, n not only for the kids who do not get to go to preschool or, or to a, a, a program that's maybe not up to uh, quality standards, but even the kids who do go to preschool, when they come home, they could uh, get an emphasis on their uh, lesson plans that they learned in school by watching uh, the various programs that will carry on the channel. And kids won't just be limited to watching their favorite programs over the airwaves. They can also log on to our website at WNIT.org and visit our PBS Kids 24-7 uh, channel page. And there, they'll be also be able to see a live stream of the channel. Uh, through that, they'll be able to play many interactive games that go along with what they're watching on screen. To celebrate the launch of the new channel, there will be several events going on. These include Kids Day with the South Bend Cubs and a special event happening during this year's Kids Day in the Park. We do it big every year where we always have a character and Daniel Tiger will be in attendance that day and he's going to help us count down to the launch of the channel at 7 p.m. The launching of the 24-7 Kids channel is meant to do more than simply provide quality children's programming. It furthers the mission of PBS and WNIT to bring education home. WNIT should stand for education. And I think this channel is a great representation of that. We have basically three pillars in our programming. We have uh, uh, civic engagement, we have the arts, but the most important is education. And within that education, we believe in lifelong learning. All the way from cradle to into retirement age, we believe that people should continue to learn. Dream.